LinkedIn is a fantastic business tool for both individuals and companies by providing a great place for you to network and connect with other business people in your industry and in your area. There are currently over 60 million people on LinkedIn and of these approximately 65% of them are decision makers or influencers within their companies and industries, making it an extremely worthwhile network to invest some time and energy in. So let's take a look at LinkedIn. Before you can get started on LinkedIn, you first need to register. So go to www.linkedin.com and a screen similar to the following will appear. Then all you need to do is enter your name, your email address and a password and click the Join Now button. On the next screen, you're then asked to enter some general details about your current situation, such as whether you're employed, if you're a business owner, etc. So go ahead and enter your details. In this instance, we're going to say that we're a business owner. Enter the name of your company, the industry that your business is in or that your expertise is in, the country that you're located in, and a postcode if it's applicable, and click on the Continue button. Next, you're given the option to quickly add some people to your network by allowing LinkedIn to access your email address book to see if any of your contacts are already on LinkedIn. This is a great way to quickly build up your contacts, but let's skip this step for now as you can do this at a later stage. Finally, to complete your registration, you need to confirm your email address by going to the email in your inbox and clicking on the link to activate your account. Once you do this, you're then brought to a screen where you simply need to confirm your email address. So click on the Confirm button. You're then immediately taken to the login screen where you simply enter the password that you would have used at the beginning of the registration process and click on Sign In. And that's it. You're now registered with LinkedIn. The next step is to build up your profile. But first, let's get familiar with the LinkedIn screen. Every time you log in to LinkedIn, you're immediately brought to your home page, which basically provides you with a summary of what's going on in your network. Now, as we've just registered and we don't have any connections yet, there isn't a huge amount of information for us to take a look at. So instead, we're going to have a look at another LinkedIn profile to get a better idea of the type of information that you'll see on this page. Your home page acts as your LinkedIn dashboard, where you can keep track of everything that's important and also that's of interest to you. For example, your inbox lets you instantly see any items that require your attention, such as email messages, introductions or invitations to connect. You can quickly assess each item and if you already know what you need to do, then simply hover over the Take Action button to immediately reply or archive the message. Your Network Activity section shows you what your connections are up to. For example, you can see if any of your connections have made updates to their profile, if they have given or received recommendations, have joined a group, are attending an event, or even if they've recently connected with some new people. The Just Joined LinkedIn section is a great way for you to quickly add some new connections to your network as it lists any new LinkedIn users that have either worked or attended the companies or schools listed in your profile. Just click on one of these links and then you can find the people that you know and simply invite them to connect with you. The boxes on the right hand side of your home page give you access to the various features within LinkedIn such as answers, people search, job listings and so on. You have complete control over what appears here. For example, you can remove a section. You can reposition a section by simply dragging the blue bar and placing it wherever you want it to appear. You can also customise what appears within each section by clicking on the Edit button in the blue title. You then simply select the category or the type of information that you want to be displayed. For example, here we want to change the answers that are actually displayed. When you see something of interest in one of these sections, you can simply click on the link to take you directly to that content. You can also add a new section via the Add an Application link at the bottom of the column. 
You can either add a completely new section or you can even add a new instance of an existing section. For example, here we're going to add a new answers section, but instead of having answers for using LinkedIn, we're going to have answers relating to business plans and click save. So as you can see, your homepage provides you with fingertip access to all the information you need within LinkedIn. And the most important thing is you can customize it to only contain the information important to you. Apart from your homepage, you can also access the various features in LinkedIn via the menu at the top of the screen. You also have access to the search functions and you can search for many different types of information within LinkedIn. And then in the top right hand corner of your screen, you have access to your LinkedIn settings for you to configure your LinkedIn profile, your privacy settings. You have access to the help and also to sign out of LinkedIn. So now all that's left to do is for you to build up your profile and start connecting with your friends and colleagues to build up your network.